What if I told you that for, for around $65 that you could test the Rockwell hardness of just about any knife from your collection, would you be, would you be interested? If so, you're gonna love this. Hey there beaters, my name is Jay, and if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel, and consider clicking on subscribe if you're looking for knife reviews that get right to the, <laughs> to the point. Man, was that dumb. Now, most blade seals, they're gonna have a Rockwell hardness anywhere between uh, like 50 to 65 HRC. And we obviously know that the the harder the blade steel, uh, the more likely it is to retain its edge for a longer period of time. Now, not always, but but usually. And then, of course, the your softer steels, they're not going to hold their edge for as long, but they're a heck of a lot easier to sharpen, and they are excellent to uh, to practice with if you're trying to l learn how to uh, how to sharpen your knives. When it comes to to purchasing knives, now for me, anyway. Uh, you know, a, a high Rockwell hardness is 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 not necessarily the best thing for my uses. I mean, I'm not gonna want. Am I gonna want a, like my fixed blades to have like a a 65 HRC? No, not necessarily. Especially if like let's say um, uh, let's say you're halfway through like a camping trip. Your fixed uh, blade goes dull and you need to sharpen it up. How long is it gonna take you to to sharpen a blade with an HRC in the upper 60s? Probably quite some time. Even though it would be far more accurate, I just don't have the thousands of dollars to be able to go out and purchase a Rockwell hardness testing machine, which is exactly why there's scratch testing and kits like this that are available. I picked this up on Amazon, uh, I don't know, for about, 60 it was around 60 to to 70 dollars and i will i'll list the um link down in the description below just in case if you're interested the way that this kit works is there are you got six files okay and starting from hrc of 40 all the way up to hrc of 65 and all you do is you take one using this like the the rounded section Okay, you rub it on the blade steel. If it does not make a mark, a scratch, then that means, of course, that the, the steel is harder than the file. If it does, in fact, scratch the finish, then that means the file is harder than the blade steel. It's really easy. If you're someone that likes to keep their their blades in you know in, in pristine shape you don't want any scratches on them uh, this test might not be the best option for you but then again of course what you can do is go ahead and disassemble the knife and then that would give you some some area that's normally concealed that you could you could scratch up and you know no one would see it what I would like to do is go ahead and actually test test a knife for you so I picked out this uh, Ganzo FH31, which by the way, I have previously reviewed. And if you're interested at the end of this video, look up to the corner, yep, right up there. You click on that icon and you can watch my full review of this knife. And I, I picked a Ganzo, not because I think that they're cheap knives, you know, cheaply made, but, but they're relatively inexpensive. So, you know, they don't cost very much to replace. And I got some, I got some, some cut resistant gloves that I am just, dying to try out i actually i picked up these gloves because i'm trying to learn how to do you know some tricks with a bellasong and i thought maybe that this would be a good idea because i've been using a trainer but i, I want to start learning tricks with the real thing so anyway i'm going to put these on and then we are going to get to testing okay i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to mark an area on this knife because I'm gonna try and make sure that I'm just gonna be scratching in that uh, circled area. And I want you to see now that there are no scratches. I mean, you can see the, uh, 
grind lines from the machining, but other than that, there are no scratches on this blade. And the directions say to, to start with the hardest file being 65, and then working your way down to the softest being the red. I mean, it, this doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to me because that means you could potentially be putting multiple scratches on, on the surface, but I'm going to follow the directions and let's get to scratching. Okay, starting with the black one, 65. I'm going to take that rounded sections and then I'm going to go ahead and just try and scratch the blade, which this should, because I'm pretty sure that this steel is not above uh, 65 HRC. Yep, you see the mark there? So it'll make a mark that should you should not be able to wipe off. So let me see. Nope, you see I removed some of the black marker by accident, but the scratch is clearly visible. So let's move down to the next one. So we know now that the steel is softer than 65. We're going to go to the next one, which is 60. And there are lots of channels that you guys should check out like i know blade banter love them knives they have a like some they have some data that you might be interested in uh there's channels like if you want to learn how to sharpen jeff jewel uh definitely check out his website for that i know patty does some sharpening stuff too patty's potato peelers outpost 76 all he does is testing fantastic resource and i will go ahead and include all of the links for the channels that i'm mentioning so okay let's get back to this I'm going to try and scratch the blade. Wow. Let's take a look. I don't think that made a mark. No, it did not. So this this steel this is a little bit harder than than I thought but okay I want to try it in another area just to kind of do a you know verification so it's going to be outside of the marked area Now I'm not saying that you have to do this but I just I want to do it just to be absolutely certain Okay so that made a mark as you can see and it should not rub off. No, it does not. Grabbing the 60 HRC one again. Nope, it made a mark, but it's rubbing it, that mark, that mark rubs right off. Wouldn't you say? So since the the black one made a mark and this blurple one did not, we're looking at this steel, which is D2, according to, to my test, is HRC of 60 to 64, which that is a heck of a lot higher than I, than I honestly expected. And yes, that is, that's quite a broad range, but you know, that's, those are the type of results that you're gonna get when you do scratch testing, which is why, of course, the Rockwell hardness testing machines are far more accurate than this. This just gives you an approximate. If you enjoyed this video, you got any value from it, how about a thumbs up? I love them. And don't forget, click on subscribe. Hey, thanks for watching and I'll see you at the next video. Take care.